So here is the Gigabyte B660i Aorus Pro DDR4 motherboard. This is designed to Intel LGA1700 socket and let's open it up. And also this is the DDR4 version. So let's take it out of the box. It's really heavy, really heavy. Let's put it aside for a second. So in the box there is a SATA cable, Wi-Fi antenna, M.2 screw for the SSD, install installation guide, some extra connections for fans I suppose, and this is RGB cable, and here is some user manuals, and also some warnings, and let's take a look at the motherboard itself. First thing that I noticed is it's, it's really really heavy. And also this is the mini ITX version. Under here will go SSD I suppose. M.2, yeah, there's the M.2 slot. And this is the I.O. Wi-Fi antenna, my in line out, also optical cable, LAN board, two USB 3.0s, also another one's here. USB Type-C and USB 3.2. Also HDMI and display board. And uh, the back plate is all metal. Advanced thermal design with aluminium backplate. And also, this one is really well made, aluminium, and here as well. Now, let's install the CPU first. In here, I have Intel Core i7 12700. Let's open up the socket. Now let's install the CPU. So I remove this one. So the CPU is securely on place. Now I will install the RAM. G skill rip jaws, 32 gigabytes. There's also a little sticker. First one went in really easily. And another one went in. Now at the M2, Samsung one terabyte 980 Pro. So here is the aluminium plate and under here we go to M.2 Alright Here is another piece of heatsink with thermal pad 
that's the installed disk now I'll take off the thermal pad that one in and screw that on in place and now this one goes back in so this is the installed everything good let's put that one aside and there you go Gigabyte P660i Aurus Pre Pro DDR4 motherboard with CPU installed, RAM installed, and M.2 installed. The next step is to put on liquid cooler, to put on the other parts, USB, front USB, and uh, power supply units. And that's basically it. I put it in the case, and you're ready to go.